Right, let's take you to the Free State now, where tensions are high in Kestel. The community is seething with anger as they demand the law to take its cause against two men accused of killing people at a local farm. Kamohelo Mutankisi and Lerato Selepe appeared before the Kestel Magistrates Court yesterday, where Mutankisi pleaded guilty for the charges. Moloko Moloto is in Kestel and he joins us now live to give us more details. Moloko, uh, yesterday the court appearance of the two men accused of this crime happened. Um, exactly what are community uh, members telling you about the free state and crimes uh, at farms in that province? Hello, Masero. Just a little bit of an update. We actually have now moved over to Harry Smith. We are at um, Tebe Hospital Mutuary. This is where the family members of the deceased earlier on formally or officially identified their bodies. They are done now. And obviously earlier when we were speaking to them, they were emotional. One family member just narrating how she has had to go through all the seven bodies just to make sure that she identifies her, 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 her deceased family member. And of course now I am joined by Al Alhid Smith. He is the farm owner. You would remember that he has lost his wife, Binto, as well as his 17-year-old son, Rudy. And let me just uh, bring him into this conversation. Sir, thank you so much for agreeing to speak to us. You, you, you just take us through when you first arrived at your house to find the scene as it was. Yes, but I didn't go through the scene. I just saw one and then I didn't even look nice. So I just left and, and told my uh, son-in-law and, and the security who came almost with me not to enter the house and was wait for the police. And then I went. I want to make one correction on your comment. Uh, Rudy is not my son. Yeah. He's my stepson. I raised him from birth. So he is a son to me, but not my blood son. Fair enough. The, as the family, uh, the fact that they were all killed in your farmhouse, how are you holding up? Now you can, you can understand that this is very hard because now we don't have answers for why yet because it's, I don't understand why because if I was the target, they wouldn't have waited till I left. So unfortunately I can say the target was my wife and I don't know why all the workers, it's very, 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 very difficult to say. That is the questions I'm still struggling about. But I think the investigation team, they do, will do their job and they will say what, what, is, what happened. Really, I can't say that. Another thing which I really want to say, I would like the, this media just to stop making sensation as much as they can. Please, because everything now is racism, racism, and that's a big uh, issue the last uh, uh, times. And it's not an issue in South Africa anymore. Racism is not the issue in South Africa anymore. This is not the racial incident. If we were all white, they will, some people will, will hate blacks. If it were all black, and it, maybe it was white, they will hate whites. No, this is crime. The people are starving. And they're not fear for going to jail. For them, it's a pleasure in the jail because it's hard for them at house. The uh, only thing that will stop this is a death penalty for this type, type of crimes. It will stop this, this murders. It's the only, only thing that will stop murders, really. How can you spend money? The state is wasting their money on this type of people by keeping them alive. And the two men who are accused of killing the seven people have been arrested. Uh, I understand that they come from the local area. Do you believe that uh, in the end there will be justice? Yes. I'm not angry, I think, because I know that God will see to that. Because nobody ever come away in the past from me with things like this. God will see to justice, not me. You see, he will do everything. And that's why they are caught so quickly.
I just want to find out whether, as a farmer, you feel safe to continue farming um, after this incident. Yeah, I must say it is, it is now like everything is a little bit out under your feet, but I'll stand up. I was in my house for the first time before yesterday and I felt peace and I feel I can easily come back, but not alone. Now I've got nobody, <laughs> so I, I don't know where to go. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I'll go now on a long vacation and then come back and just help them with the farming because now it's time to retire for me, I think. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Smith. Masero, the old man, saying that he's all alone now. And you can tell the emotion flanked by some of the family members who also lost their loved ones on that uh, day. And of course, what we are now waiting for here at the Muchari is just the arrival of the... Uh, because this is a government Muchari. We understand that the provincial government has organized private Muchari. They will be taking all the seven bodies here to that particular private Muchari as they prepare for the funeral, which we were told by the local councillor that is going to be taken over by the provincial government. And we understand that tomorrow the Premier, Sisin Dombela, will be visiting the seven families. Mm. All right, Moloko Moloto, live for us at uh, Kestel in the Free State with that sad, sad report speaking to a man who arrived at his farm to find his wife and stepson dead and five other people just last week.